Welcome to part 13 and in this tutorial this is where we're going to show you how you can export and then re-import the titles and prices to your new eBay sites. That's right so if we think about this for a few moments we've just been and created two new custom attributes within Magento for our titles. One of them is going to be in Australian so that's English one of them needs to be in German. We're not going to do any fancy translations during this tutorial. We're just going to export them out and then import them back in. Or at least get them out to Excel so that you can then go on and get them translated professionally. We're also going to do the prices as well, Dave. And I've got a little brilliant little free tool for you to use so that you can convert your prices from, say, pound sterling to Australian dollars or euros or from one currency to another. It really doesn't matter. It's a free online tool, really straightforward to do. And we'll just do a quick formula in Excel as well, Dave. And the good news is everything which we're about to cover is really easy to do, Dave, because it's just Magento data flow to get the data out, which we've covered numerous times in other tutorials, and also MagMe, which we've got a whole course dedicated to. So a little heads up, we are going to go a little bit quickly and we are going to skip over some of the basics because we are going to assume that you have been and used MagMe before. If you've got no idea what MagMe is, then what Dave will do underneath this video tutorial is include the link to the MagMe course. It's the lightning fast way of getting product information into Magento. By the way, if they forget, just the top of understandthene.com, hover your mouse on Magento tutorials, and then it's the importing and exporting course, pretty much down at the bottom of the list as well, isn't it, Dave, from the top menu? Yeah, that's the one. That's right. So with that said, let's go and do this and follow us along in your system. Our first task is that we need to export the product information from Magento. So we're going to be exporting our original eBay title, and we're also going to be exporting our original sell price, which we're already using on eBay. So to do that, we need to go up to System. Then we need to go into Import and Export, and then into Data Flow Profiles. And Dave, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be creating a customized profile just for the stop number, the attribute set, and those two values. Really simple and really straightforward. So we've come into data flow profiles, add a new profile in the top right hand corner. So we're going to call this eBay title and price export, like so. We're going to leave the entity type as products, direction. Oh, we need to change that to export. We're going to leave the stores default, so admin values. We're going to leave that as local forward slash remote server. Okay, and then we're going to leave that as local where it says file name. So what we'll call this title underscore prices dot CSV. And then the path which you need to enter is var forward slash export. So we are going to log in via FTP and Fozilla in a few moments time. So if you don't have that open, if you're going to open that up in the background, so we've put the path in as var forward slash export. Scrolling down, we're going to change the type from Excel to CSV. We're going to leave the default values in there. And where it says export all fields, we're going to change that to only mapped fields. And then scrolling down, we've got this extra little button just here where it says field mapping. And we've got a button here which says add field mapping. So let's click on there. Now, the first thing which we want to start off with is the SKU. So this is going to be the first column, which is in our spreadsheet. So scroll down, show when you can see SKU in there, Dave. There it is, SKU. And let's go and add the next one, which is SKU type. Again, just scrolling down, we're after SKU type in this list. There we go, because that's going to be simple. So that's the SKU and the SKU type. The next one is that we now need our eBay title out. So looking down our list, ATT underscore EBY underscore title. Really obvious what that one is, Dave. That's going to be our eBay title. And the other field which you want is called price. So let's just scroll down. Again, that's a standard Magento attribute. It's down in P's. There we go. Price. So just quickly recap what we've been and done. And again, I'm just going to go from the top down just so that you've got the same settings as us. 
For the profile name, I've called that eBay title and price export. The entity type is product, the direction is export, and I've left the store as default admin values. Scrolling down, we've left that as local forward slash remote server, local server. We've given the file name as title underscore prices dot CSV. And for the path, we've entered var forward slash export. We then went on and changed our type to CSV and we changed the export setting to only mapped fields. And again, Dave, that's just straightforward for time. Okay, if we've got lots and lots of products in Magento, it's gonna take forever to export. So we've just mapped these fields in. We press the add field mapping button and we set up SKU, SKU type. In fact, you could get rid of SKU type. It's frankly honest, Dave. Let's just cut it right down to the bare minimum. SKU, eBay title, and the price. Okay, we don't need any of the extra options in here. And then we're then going to press save profile at the top. And there's our profile in here. So if we then click into that profile, we can then go back to run profile on the left hand side. And we're going to go and run this profile in a pop up. Now, this is going to take a few moments to run, especially for those of you which have very, very big catalogs in Magento. So if you have a like 10, 20, 30, 40 or more thousand products in Magento, this is going to take a while to run and it may even time out. Now, if that is you, okay, let me go and get this up on a separate page here, Dave, is that a couple of days back, we created a special video tutorial, didn't we, on how to automate the export of products from Magento. And again, I'm just searching on our site here in the background, schedule exports from Magento. So let me just go and get this up on our screen so you can see what's going on here. The URL is understanding.com and then automating hyphen exports, hyphen from, hyphen Magento. And there is a video and a script included in there for you to download. And crucially, because this is running from a cron job from your web hosting, it's not going to time out and it will finish. It's a really handy script and a little note there, it is a premium tutorial. Okay, so you do need to be a premium understanding member to be able to watch that video tutorial and download the script which we've been written for you to be able to do that. So with that said, let's just close that one down and going back to our window, it has been finished. So what we now need to do is go and download that file to our desktop and we need FileZilla for that. So I've logged in via FileZilla and I'm going to go into our VAR and then into our export folder. And Dave, look, there's our file. Nice. That was nice and easy. Yeah, really straightforward. And again, we don't have a huge amount of products in our Magento system, whereas you may do, and it may take a little bit longer than what it's taken us. Okay, so let's minimize that window down, and we're just going to drag and drop that file onto our desktop. So actually, it's just gone on a different screen, so let me go and pop that over there. Okay, let's minimize that out of the way. Let's go and open up that file now with Excel. So we pop this on our window. There we go. So... We've got three columns in here. Let's just go and put their names in. They were really straightforward, weren't they? They were SKU. Then we had ATT underscore EBY title. And then we have price. In fact, let me just go make these columns a little bit bigger so they're a little bit more easier to read. And I'm just going to color code them for ease up there as well. So straightforward so far, Dave? Yeah, I'm still with you. Now, this is where we need to up it a gear, okay? We need to put, what was it, ATT underscore EBY underscore price underscore AU. And that was our Australian price. Now, it's going to do our Germany price as well. So, EBY price underscore DE. And we also added those two extra attributes as well, didn't we? Well, one for the Australian title and one for the German title. So, that was title... And one was AU. And again, I'm just not going to type these out. I'm just going to copy and paste them now. Really straightforward. And then that was DE. Okay, and let's make these columns a little bit bigger, like so. In fact, I'm just going to make them a little bit wider. So I've been and added in a couple of extra columns here. So we've got our Australian price. We've got our Germany price. We've got our Australian title. And we've got our German title. 
Okay, so for the titles, we're just going to go down our spreadsheet. So I'm just getting those highlighted like so. And by the way, what I was doing then was just using the shift. I was holding down shift and control on my keyboard and then pressing the down arrow on my keyboard. You could have very easily just gone and used like the fishnet just to go and highlight those. And I've pressed control C on my keyboard to copy them. And then I'm just going to paste these in to our eBay title for Australia and our title for Germany as well. Now, like I said, we're not going to cover translations in this video tutorial. Now, Dave, for the pricing. Again, I use this website almost daily to price up jobs, which we're getting done externally in the background. If you go to xe.com, so x and then e.com, and this is a currency translation website. So we need to find out the currency rate right now between pound sterling, so for British pounds, and then we need to do Australian dollars. So let's go and click on the blue button there, and we've got 1.82. Really straightforward, Dave? Yep, really straightforward. Okay, so let's put that to one side. In Excel, we need our Australian price, so we're just going to press the equal sign in that box, and we're going to click on price, then an asterisk for times, and then 1.82, press return, and there is our Australian price in Australian dollars. Okay, now we are going to keep this really, really simple. If you and for your business that you may want to up that rate a little bit more so to ensure that you're making money, you could also do it's Excel. So you could also do rounding and lots of other cool things as well. So it's going back up. And now for DE, let's just go back. Let's go and grab XC.com. Let's just go back a page. So let me just expand that out of touch. So one pound sterling to the euro. Click next. 1.266, so I'm going to round that up to 1.267. Go back to our spreadsheet, so I'm going to press equals in that cell, and I'm going to choose our price, times, and then 1.27, press return, and then I'm just going to drop that all the way down the template, and there we go. So our £35.99 British pound sterling, when we import this into Magento, is going to be $65.50 and it's going to be €45.70 when we import them into Magento. Now with that done, all straightforward, Dave? Yeah, that easy so far. We are assuming that you've got a basic understanding of Excel. So let's go and save that file as a new file now. So we're going to go File, then into Save As, down onto our desktop, and I'm just going to call this one Updated and click on yes. Excellent. So if we now jump back down to our desktop, we've got another file in here called title underscore prices underscore updated. Now we need to upload this file filezilla. So let's go back up to the main folder. So we now need to go into var and then into import. We're going to drag and drop that file up into our import folder. And the reason why we're doing that is because then we're now going to go and jump across to MagMe and then import those titles and those prices updates so that it's going to then go and update all of our products within Magento. So let's get our web browser back up. Let's go and get to our MagMe importer. So I've been and come across to MagMe. And like I said, we are going pretty quick on here because we are assuming that you already know about MagMe and how to import products. So from our file to import, we're going to drop that down and we need the title underscore prices updated file. So it's going to save that profile and then where it says run MagMe with profile defaults. And then we want to update items only and skip new ones. So we're now going to go and click on run in the background. That's going to take a few moments to go in. Uh, there we go. Job done. And that's been an imported happy days. Now let's go back to our products in Magento. So let's go and catalog manage products. Let's maybe go and choose one of the other bags. Okay, so just make a point. We we're editing this one down here at the bottom, which we updated manually to list onto eBay. Let's go and pick another one at random. And there we go, Dave. Our Australian titles being populated, our German titles being populated. We have a Australian price, which we now know is going to be in Australian dollars. 
and we have a euro price as well, which we now know that Magento and m 2 Pro have been told to use through the different listing groups. That was really easy. It is. I'm not a spreadsheet nerd by any means, but that was just really straightforward. Yeah, and again, I know this tutorial is like 15 minutes long or so. We had a lot to cover, but you kind of already know this. You've probably been already using Dataflow profiles already, and I'm probably teaching you to crawl when you already know how to walk and run with these. But it's really straightforward. Make the export, change the details in Excel. Again, we went a little bit further and used XE.com to work out our pricing. Again, you could be using like rounding in there. You could maybe round it up to the nearest whole number and then take a penny off. So instead of £38.09, you could have rounded that up to 38 or 39 euros and then take a penny off or maybe 5p off. So you got 38 euros and 95 cents. And then for the dollars, you could have rounded it up to the nearest whole number. So within the nearest tenth in there, so you could have ended up 54 dollars 60 and then taking a penny off or maybe you could have just added on a random amount or maybe included an extra maybe included your shipping price for example it's really up to you it's excel and dave i'm going off topic because all these other things which you could do with excel and that's an endless list so nice and straightforward this will get you up to speed very very quickly you can now start listing onto those extra sites and again if you followed us along right back to the beginning we're selling internationally the easy way. Maybe you have uh, set up, I've been following these tutorials, but maybe you've set up eBay UK, eBay Australia, or eBay US. Then they're all going to be in English. Okay, and you can probably get away with one or two spelling mistakes in there, putting a U in or taking a U out, as the case may be. All right, that will get you extremely close really, really quickly. So, with that said, from myself, Matt, and from me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt, and of course Dave too, we both hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, we'd both really appreciate a thumbs up on YouTube, either at the top of this video or down at the bottom. So on screen right now, we have the next part of this tutorial. So if you just click on the next tutorial button, which is in the top right hand part of the screen, you'll head on over there right now. If you would like to be notified of the latest video tutorials that myself and Dave publish on YouTube, then also press the subscribe button underneath this video as well. And with that said, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Matt and Dave.